All right, everybody, welcome back to the next episode. This is... I'm, like, way out over here. Get lined up a little bit better here. This is episode four of our Wrath of the Oathbreaker playthrough, which is uh, where I'm playing an Oathbreaker Paladin. Um, we're going to hop back in here to the story and kind of see what is going on. Real quick, had to make sure I got up my build real quick there. And um we're gonna we're gonna hop right back into this game. So here we go. Wrath of the Oathbreaker. Loading right into to here. And we'll see what we can get into now. Um we're gonna be heading to the village for the druids and the tieflings and their little kerfuffle they got going on there. And uh, we'll hopefully get to check out some combat and my new Oathbreaker powers. Alright, so we're in. Okay, so we got a bunch of stuff going on. So you got two potions, you have two potions. Two, two, and I got whatever I got, so it should be all right. All right, cool. These boots have seen everything. I love you. Like that, no, there we go. What the fuck is my view like this? I broke it! I broke my view! Camera left, camera right, zoom in, zoom out, toggle out. There we go, we were in tactical camera. Smooth. Alright, well, now we also want that to fall off. Uh, we should check it out, but be careful. Their home. Let's get going here, and now we're gonna come up to the the druids over here. See what's what's going on. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. Open the bloody gate! Nobody gets in. Zevlor's orders. That pack of goblins will be on us any second. What's going on? Goblins are on our tail. Open the gate, Zevlor, now! You let goblins hear? Where is the druid? Please! There's no time! By the nine hells! Open the gates! <coughs> Here come the goblins. Damnable roach. Provoke the blade. And suffer its sting. Ah! 
bitch. Quickly. Should get started. What? That was bullshit. I'll bleed every last one of you. to do the same thing with you. Okay, so we can't use jump with her, so let's do dash. On I go. That's all we're doing for now there. Oh damn, they're back there. Alright, let's you please, Mistra. That bitch is dead. By sickle and sword, strike them down. Well, damn. Day, another Get too close. That was the last of them. Inside, all of you, more may follow. Open the gate. Oh, yeah. Damn. They were tenacious. I wonder what they wanted here, other than bloodshed. We got some looting on. Really? Let's 
so dumb. There are children here, you fool! We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too? Unbelievable! And who the hell are you again? Show some respect. This man saved your pathetic life. Damn well, straight, I didn't fool. ask for any goddamn help. Please, you were begging me to open the gate. Anything to save yourself, you coward! Let's see what we can do. Yes. Fuck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. First roll of the night. Actual roll. Yes. Enough. Squabbling is pointless. The goblins have found us. At least we agree on that. More goblins could be on their way. I'm more worried about this parasite Time than a few pack. goblins. We need, to leave. we need a healer. Yep, yep. I care about our lives, our futures. No, you just care about your stupid apprenticeship. Take them. Refugees, adventurers. No one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met. And thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. Ah. I forgot. You're a blow-in. I am a blow-in. A few days hence, this grove will be completely concealed by thorny vines. None will be able to enter. Or leave. Or leave. A drastic measure. But more monsters seem to terrorize this region every day. We druids will be safe. As for those that took refuge here, well... May Sylvanas guard them as they continue their travels. You sound just like Korga. <laughs> but it had to come to this. I pray to Sylvanas each night. The Wildfather will protect those refugees. I hope. I pray no Goblin Arrow has grazed you. Nettie could put you to rights. She should be with the others in the inner chambers. But I doubt she'll be taking on new patients. Mm. The Grove will be locked down soon. True. Sure. Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. Let's see what this guy's got here. Calm down, please. I won't leave them behind. You're going to get us killed. This Let's is about your precious border's gate. I care about our lives. Our futures. No, you just care about your stupid apprenticeship. Take that back. Right Do now. a little little shopping real quick. Everybody loves shopping shit.
these people. That doesn't matter. Of course it does. You would choose strangers over us. That's not what I said. Can we stop shouting? No? Sylvanas, guide your path. Please. I won't leave them behind. You're going to get us killed. This is about your precious borders gate. I care about our lives, our futures. No, you just care about your stupid apprenticeship. Take that back, right now. All right, we'll go with that. That was a nice little upgrade. Frontiers. What a thrill for the children. <laughs> They're tough kids. Smart, too. The future's in good hands. And again. The Blade of Frontiers. <laughs> what a thrill for the children. <laughs> They're tough kids. Smart, too. The future's in good hands. Can we stop shouting? No? Yellow all over, covered in spots. Something good here. No right noses up. to speak of. <laughs> How long do you think we've got before the goblins come? You ain't gonna shoot me. Your hands are shaking. Put it down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way! She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tieflin. If you ever had it to begin with. I'm not afraid. Chosen by the absolute, I am. I'm blessed. Oh, I'll bless you, all right. Here it comes, you little beast. Ah! Shoes. Well, where are my boots? Yeah, that was fun. There. Fucking goblins. Done. We 
should be getting drunk at least. No fun waiting for death sober. So we do when I go this way. Alright. Let's go down to the inner circle and do this again. Swing and swing. Take Standing and working. Remember? Come on! Please, let us through. It is forbidden. Let my daughter go right now! She's a thief, hell spawn! And you will wait for Korga's judgment. Now get back! Ugh! Let me through, Radrashev, or I'll rip your damn throat out! <gasps> Give him a chance. You, step back. Go join the other tieflings. Keep back. Force my hand and I'll show you its claws. A moment, Giona. What? You're right, bitch. Oh, I understand. You. Apparently, Korga wants to see you. Go That's ahead. That's right, she does. I'm coming in there. I do wish I could understand you. That's what you get for trying me. Serpent. Well, let's sneak a snake. Please. I'm sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out the rest. Girl, you mean parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Teela is restless. Come, Korga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Plus two, plus four. Ooh. Oh. <sighs> what are the dice going to have 
for us on this one. You guys watching at home with me, checking in on this episode. What do you think? Well, here we go. We're about to find out. Oh! Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. Beautiful, 18. Very well. I'll defer to your ruling. My circle has offered grace to these outsiders. We gave them shelter from storm. We nourished their bellies. In return, these devils lured in a horde of goblins. And their spawn stole the one relic that might keep us safe. We've taken back our relic. But I will keep the fiend caged till our protection right is complete. I... I was scared. They said when the rite was over we'd have to leave. But there's goblins out there and worse. And it's nice here. So I... I took the idol. I thought maybe then we could stay. Please let me go. I'll be good, I swear. Well, Paladin, what say you? Thank you, thank you. Sif, sif. Tila, to me. <laughs> Out, thief. My grace has its limits. We saved the child this time. It hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin. Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. Bitch and her snake. Oh, I want to kill the snake. I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Mm -hmm. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Positive. You can trust me on that. Tiring business, isn't it? All this traveling and adventuring. Why don't we take a little break, hmm? Allow ourselves a few moments of rest? Gives me a chance to talk to you about something, well, rather important. We've been on the road together for a while now, haven't we? Hmm? Survived some perils, overcame some obstacles. Ever since you were kind enough to free like me from that stone, minutes. I've seen you demonstrate remarkable guile and courage. The way you diffuse the tension between Zevlor and Aradin. The way you got Korga to release the girl. In short, I've grown to trust you. I was being quite sincere, I assure you. The reason I make a point of saying this is that I've grown confident enough to tell you something I've yet to tell another living soul, except for my cat. You see, I have this condition. Very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. Oh, the specifics are rather personal, but suffice it to say that it is a malady I've learned to live with, though not without some effort. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. I can say no more on the matter. Not now, anyway. Just trust me when I say it's all of vital importance. 
It's been days since I last consumed an artifact, and before we were abducted. It's only a matter of time before my craving returns. That is why I turn to you. I need you to help me find magic items to consume. It is vital. Dare I say it? Critical. We've already done the finding. In fact, you have one in your possession. You know for yourself how hard one such an item was, and it will be no easier when even more are required to assuage my hunger. There'll be danger involved, or great cost. Splendid. Bit of boldness will serve us well. I'm sure we won't have to look very far to find what I need. Faerun overflows with magic-infused treasure. As do our packs, as a matter of fact. We've such an item already in our possession. Primed for the moment the need arises. I hope I can count on you. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? No, oh, just a bitch. Ah. You don't see a monster. You just look at me through one's eyes. You are like all the rest. Where devils tread, chaos follows. No and matter. I will end you. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the writers resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. Nothing! They've done everything! You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to the tiefling leader. Zevlor, he's called. Offer to guide the outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander Rot cleansed, and the Grove forever shrouded. Right. Still hate you. And uh, Nettle will be up this way. Goodbye. Here we go. I see you. Just give me a moment. A moment. This medicament. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Oh. Now, what was it you needed? You found her, but I still don't know what she can do for you. Why are you asking? A tadpole. A mind flare tadpole. Yep. Right in the good old eye socket. I... Uh, I'll do what I can. Come. Follow me. Mm. I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. I don't want blood on my head. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. Mm. 
Seems so. Give Master Halson a right start. It's why he joined the adventurers on their expedition. To find out what was happening. A pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. No, I'll stay. I'd rather know exactly what you're up to. All right. Let's see what we can do. She shifts uneasily, hesitating. Something's off. It might. But first things first. Tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? Protected from on high. Sounds like the drow. Master Halson said he was tougher than he had any right to be. How'd you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. A mind flare ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. Good thing I didn't this have to kill you. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hell was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. True that. Mind flayers reproduce by infecting someone with their parasite. Seven gruesome days later, the victim transforms and a new mind flayer is born. The thing in your skull, though, it's different to anything in our records. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers, telepathic connections, and it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not True. yet, anyhow. True, true, true. Hard to say, but there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna. And I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers. Joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. The thing is, I've sent birds to find him, but the place is rotten with goblins. None of us can even get close. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? Thank you. It would mean everything to the Grove. To me. I wish I could tell you more. But only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. I'm an oath breaker, bitch. Step at a time, Nettie. Come on. Why then, poison? 
Never tried it, and I hope to keep it that way. Better a quick draft than Ceramorphosis, nonetheless. There's something in that vessel. Take a closer look. Parasite is stubborn. It refuses both to leave or to allow itself to be used as you desire. Okay, cool. So we got one. That is good. Well, this uh, seems like a lovely little spot. The sense of impending doom. Don't need to talk to you. Dude, we're just gonna walk all over you guys shit. It's alright. good shot of us there anyway so this is where we're gonna end this episode next episode we're gonna pick up with um going to seek out withers and we'll start heading the other way to do this so um check back in um thank you guys for watching thanks for checking this out there's a lot of story going on so it wasn't a lot of me talking about stuff it was a lot of listening and interacting with characters so i hope you enjoyed this i'm having a lot of fun on this playthrough so far and I hope we make it further than the last one because I'm really enjoying like making and playing this character. And hopefully I can make it all the way through that. So, I'll catch you in the next one. Leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see, what you want me to get into. Um, if there's anything you'd like me to explain a little bit more to as we're going. Um, thank you guys and I'll catch you on the next one.